community stepped up, small business owners stepped up. A lot of uh, community leaders have stepped up. A lot of volunteer hours have been put into this. We saw the immediate impact the stay-at-home order had on our small businesses and knew we wanted to help. We knew every one of them was facing a different challenge, so we decided to create a platform where they could actually tell all of us how to help them. I hope to accomplish by providing gas and heat to people who need it that we can help heal the community and get rid of this virus that's ravaging us right now. When we first heard that schools would be closing, we quickly put together a list of breakfast and lunch items. We emailed it out to every member in our church. We said, let's pitch in. And so we all brought stuff to my house and in my driveway, we packed over a hundred bags of food. And since then, over the past four weeks, we've been able to give out over 400 bags of food to people and families in need right now. I would like to say to those in search of hope, that those of us who chose a healthcare profession are willing to do our best to care for others on the medical side of things, but that all of us are responsible for caring for each other in whatever way that we can. I hope when people look back on this, they remember our amazing child nutrition workers. They're some of the hardest working people I know. They put aside their own fears and health to do whatever it takes to bring meals to kids. They live and they work in the city of Akron and they love their communities and they love their kids. And when they read the story that we're writing right now, it's not about money, it's not about capitalizing off a tough time. What, what it really is, is you as a small business owner inside of a community that supports you day in and day out, it is our obligation to do that for them as well. So this is not about the tallest building or how much money I can make. This is more, how can we come together to help each other and put profits aside.